And a new warning about the coronavirus. The CDC now says, quote, this might be bad. Experts say there's a strong chance of a, quote, serious outbreak in the U.S. And Americans should prepare for, quote, significant disruptions to their lives. Well, ABC's Mona Kassar Abdi has the latest. This morning, the first U.S. military service member has been added to the list of Americans infected with the new coronavirus. The soldier stationed in South Korea and was under self-quarantine when he tested positive. And now the CDC says it's not a question of if the virus will spread in the U.S., but a matter of when. We are um, asking the American public to work with us to prepare in the expectation that this could be bad. Health officials say communities should get ready to take drastic measures to control the outbreak, including closing schools and stores, adding that people should make sure they keep essentials like medications on hand in case pharmacies are forced to close. A new study finds the death rate from the coronavirus is 2.3 percent. That's compared to only 0.1 percent for the flu. But that same research finds most coronavirus patients, 82 percent, showed only mild cold-like symptoms. And while the president is trying to calm concerns, insisting the U.S. is well prepared, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are not so convinced. During a hearing Tuesday, senators from both parties questioned whether the White House's request for $2.5 billion in emergency funding is enough to prepare for an outbreak. This is not the time to try to shortchange the American people. I am very concerned that we are not prepared for uh, this or for anything like it in the future. Mona Kosarabdi, ABC News, New York.